Hey everybody, welcome to the next commentary. Today we are playing some Heimerdinger top lane versus Cassante. Oh my god, I, I'm just gonna stick around at this point. There is a lot of stuff going on right now. Use my last turret. That guy dies. How did I not get an assist for that? Wow, Cassante is going so aggressive. My turret's kind of beating him. Bro, we're... <laughs> so, yeah. Uh, because we finally reached Master Tier, the games are going to be a lot more methodical and uh, the macro is going to be harder to play. So, this is when the climb truly begins. Because uh, now that we're, we're Master Tier, reaching from Masters to Challenger is going to be a lot harder since everybody's so good. Uh, also, I decorated my room because a lot of people were asking for it. So, I got a nice portrait. Um, to put in my room. Heimerdinger is a pretty good pick against Melee's top lane. What you do is that when you uh, fight people with your turrets, they just get barraged by them. The issue with Cassante is that he can uh, use his R to send me really far away from my turrets, and then I am screwed. So... Besides putting down turrets, uh, you want to auto-attack them consistently. When you auto-attack people, it causes your turrets to target them, which is uh, that little cog that shows up when I'm, like, auto-attacking things. So, be sure to try to auto-attack them consistently, because Heimerdinger's passive is when you're near turrets, any type of turret, you get bonus movement speed, so it makes you extremely difficult to catch and also makes it very difficult for uh people to like stop you from just constantly barraging auto attacks on them although i don't really like this side of the map because when he's sitting under turret like that it makes it hard to right click but yeah just just auto attack a lot that's about it just be sure you're doing that because you run so damn fast that uh your auto attack is slow and slow auto attacks means that when it's in the air, you can walk out of the turret range very easily. Uh, the other thing about your Heimerdinger turrets is that you see this little white meter. That's a charge. And how you charge it is just over time. Or the more consistent method is landing your other abilities. I'm going to be maxing my Q first. So landing my E, which is my stun, and my W, which is a barrage of rockets, uh, will charge that meter. So you also want to be trying to land your abilities, and you can even do a neat trick where you use E, then Q, and if it lands, then your turret that you put down after you threw your E will have a full charge if the E landed. So that's a way to like do it so it's just a little bit faster. There's no way I can unfortunately outplay versus that many people. I tried though, it was close. Um, dying. Does it matter if you die Heimerding or top? No, it doesn't. Uh, you are kind of like a Scion, and the strategy is to push endlessly and always, and you will never stop, and it will continue for the entire game. One of the best Heimerdinger players in all of League has games where he has like 10 deaths. It doesn't matter. Uh, and he wins. He goes like 4 and 10. It doesn't matter. So... Just remember that dying in League of Legends, depending on what you're playing, sometimes is a big deal, and sometimes it's not. You can think, maybe just think of Heimerdinger as like a AP Scion in a way. Um, of course, you can always pop off and not die, and it's not worth dying if it's like a, a death where it was something that you could maybe survive from. But the, the issue is that if you get camped, you're most likely going to die because in most cases you're so far up that running away almost never is an option and you must force to fight and just hope that you can maybe trade one for one in return. Unfortunately, my team is already losing so hard though that um, it is going to be a very challenging game. I already know that. We also are heavily AP, which sucks. Because we're so AP heavy to the point that they might all build a ridiculous amount of magic resist, which is going to cause me a lot of pain. The uh, pike might rotate top here, which would suck. Okay, good. He's not. We can only have three turrets down at once. Unfortunately, these two are too far away to like hit the turret or uh, hit the wave, I mean. So I'll start replacing some of them. I'm 
guessing he'll reach six pretty soon. Yeah. The thing is that he went straight into all of the turrets, and I successfully dodged his Q and landed an ability which fully charged my beams. So then all of them turn, instantly shoot a big beam, and that's gonna hurt really, 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 really bad. So I'm just gonna leave this. I think that it might get it. If it doesn't get it, then I'm gonna be very sad, but it's down to 45, 24, 13, 3, and the plate doesn't go to me. Tragic. Very unlucky. I guess I could have just popped down all of my turrets, I suppose. Maybe that could have worked to get it. So we got a solo kill. That solo kill also made us get a 20 CS lead on the guy. But um, game's still looking a little challenging. It's just that like I'm really scared about the Draven. But my bot lane hasn't died since then, so maybe it's okay. Because... Uh, Draven is a snowball champ. When he gets a lead, he uh, really pops off. I'm trying to store up my turrets here. Hmm. I'm just going to drop down one to help push. We don't want to drop down all three because we want to have them closer to his turret so we can go back to doing the uh, just constant barrage under turret. No, my turret. Well, I hit him a lot, though. Yeah, there goes all of them, actually. That's pretty bad. I don't want to be missing all of them. I can't help out bot lane, sadly, because I don't have TP or anything, so you guys are just on your own. I could just maybe go Landry's first item instead of this Blackfire Torch that I was building. It might be better versus something like Cassante, who's really tanky. Again, the thing is that he all in me. I ran into my turrets. I'm utilizing my passive, which is the movement speed, so I'm really fast. And we landed enough uh, abilities to cause the charge beam to go off again. So that enabled me to get that kill. He has TP, so I can't stick around for that plate. But another solo kill, which is awesome. Very good. Oh, and he took a little bit of damage from the turrets as well. It's also pretty nice. Man, I could buy a Blackfire Torch now. I guess I'll just finish it. It's probably good to have a completed item. I was going to try to just stick around until I just have a full Landry's myself, but... Drop down one turret. Stun the back line. The center of your E is the stun. It's super tiny. It's not that easy to land. That's uh, the di most difficult part of Heimerdinger, in my opinion. I think that they might be on that, but I don't know if I can contest it very well. Oh, nice. I hit the turrets on him. Let's go.
I'm just gonna auto attack this. I think that might get it on its own. Once again, the just constant barrage of uh, just trying to chunk him, make him leave lane, make him feel uncomfortable when it all in. Oh man, you're actually gonna die. And it's all because I'm not there. After all those solo kills as well. Tragic, man. Very tragic. At least we got most of the grubs, so being able to have the grub spawn is quite nice. I am chunking the hell out of everybody. I got ganked and didn't die, so. I can't take it, unfortunately. It's so damn close. I want to get first turret. Even if I die for it, I'm not even worth the shutdown because my team's losing, so, like, it's okay. Okay, good. Very nice. I base. I don't have my Landry's yet, sadly. You know what? Let's just buy the level two boots so I can run around a bit faster. Get back to top faster. Okay, game. This guy's in really into one trick, so like, he must scale well at least, right? I mean, he has Aesol Icon. That's why I think he's Aesol one trick. I could be wrong, but normally when people play the champion plus have the Icon, that means that they... Uh, Mean it. Oh. Can't go for that guy. We're gonna have to probably put ourselves in really dangerous positions and hope we can outplay them if we want to win this game because uh, they have some really fed members. But the only way to kill them is putting ourselves in positions of danger. Otherwise, they'll never die. I mean, I have ultimate E, I guess. I missed everything. Sorry, guys. You guys got a kill. I wasted my ulti, though, and that's pretty bad. Your ultimate just empowers whatever ability you use, and you can throw down a bunch of grenades, so I was trying to catch some. Oh, that did stun him. Nice, my turret got him. Just barely. Alistar is fighting somebody, and he's gonna get executed by Pike Ult, maybe. No, he's not. Mm. Okay, well, I'll take the blue buff, I think. I have my Landry's very, very, very soon. That guy is maybe dead? Nice outplay, Aurelian Soul. Very close, very close. Very close to an outplay. If he uses ultimate before using his W, he might have been able to have a little bit of an easier time, but... That was a good attempt. Very close. Man, I don't have my turrets. I only have two. So it's really scary. Oh, well, I'll just leave here. I have my Lyandries now. Not dying. 
Pike is so scary. He might be able to like easily collapse if I stayed bot lane. So that's why I gotta go because he's so good at roaming, right? And he even has the symbiotic soul, so he's super, super fast. Ow! God, that hurts so bad. Holy! I mean, I managed to not die somehow. I got the Draven. There's one Pike Ult. He's definitely gonna look for another. If he would go around this way. Oh my god, nice. Caitlyn, well played. Yeah, I put down a bunch of turrets. I used Empowered Turret as well, because I feel like it's the most... The one that you can just drop and forget about. You can one-shot people with the upgraded W, but... Oh my god, don't kill me, please. I know that you're, like, super, super fed. You're very scary to face. They have one dragon from Soul. That is so sad. I guess I just have to go Void Staff if I want to deal any damage or Crypt Bloom, but like, look how much MR that they have. It's, it's bonkers. It's crazy. They are so tanky on the enemy team. And they're about to have Soul. If they get Soul, I don't know how easy it's going to be to win a game. So I'll go topside here, I guess. Man, if they face check, they would have just instantly died. Maybe I should have dropped all three and just seen what happened. Let's just uh, clear some of this. Baron's up in a minute. dead. He tried to do something for some reason. Nice juke. Nice. Getting his flash is huge. We don't need to do like more than just like a slow play. I stunned that guy, but he still has Zin's out thingy. Now he's dead. Wait, what happened to Aurelian's soul? He just instantly died. I even notice. That's not that bad. Getting the Draven Flash is the biggest thing, more than the kills itself. Because now we just need to land one thing on him, and maybe we can all chain together to kill him. That would be incredible if we find an opportunity like that. Oh, is he on it? I can check, I guess. I'll just TP in. Why not? Might already be gone, though. Oh, it's not. Killed? Draven's 1 HP? He's gonna burn to death, maybe? Damn, Draven didn't die. He was 1. I almost did it. That was so close. I landed such a good ultimate, too. My ultimate hit almost everybody. 
because I bounced it between all of them, and it does crazy damage and also slows them, and it deals, I think, good damage too. He had 400. Oh, well, my ultimate will be Upper Dragon, fortunately. It's a low enough CD that I can use it. This is great, I guess. Fighting this this way, it's not bad, I guess. I'm just trying to get the backline away from us. If they have to walk into the turrets, it's very challenging for them to play. Of course, the backline doesn't care. They can outrange your turrets. But... What? What is that guy doing? This guy has no flash if you land everything. I got him. Can Baron, maybe? Can we do it fast enough? No? Yeah, it might be too hard. Oh, what? Don't kill the turret! If you kill the turret, the TP will stop, so... Don't stop it. Um, your ultimate doesn't refresh your abilities except for your turret so the only thing I could do was use my big turret on the ground that was the best thing I could do there Heimerdinger does Baron really fast obviously because as you can see the DPS from uh, your turrets is bonkers so we can just take him back away Not bad, guys. We're making a comeback. We have an Aurelian Soul who's behind, but there's Inzao and uh, Cassante are both really making huge mistakes. And Pike, too. I mean, Pike should have never died the way he did as well. I'm going to build a Seekers because I feel like uh, if I get caught, maybe I can stall time. That'd be pretty awesome. Almost level 16 as well. Uh, yeah, I guess I'll just continue farming top, I suppose. I don't really got anything else to do. Cassante is just up here. If they send, like, everybody, I could die. I'm worth 1k, dude. I am worth using, like, their whole entire team's resources to kill. If possible. Yikes, this fight is so strange. For me to join. Oh, looks like my team's winning, though. If you're wondering why Cassante is just beelining it into my turrets, it's because he was trying to uh, stop my TP if I had it. He was worried that I was going to go join my team. But I didn't. I'm just going to shoot in here. If it throws Comet, you know he's in there. I can also just like throw this as well. Check the brush. Just use my ultimate on that guy. It's a pretty short CD. Might as well just finish. He also had Hex Rinker, and I have no idea if a, a regular barrage would have done enough. The turrets, uh, 
kill your turrets if they aggro on it um, after they kill something. So normally you only want to place it down in a, if you have like a bunch or there's like a cannon or something. I think I need to, need to back away here. I need to make sure I don't accidentally overextend. If I die right now, we're going to lose soul. Which would suck. Damn, what a purchase though. I didn't I couldn't afford a full death cap. If I could afford death cap, I would have built that instead, but I'm poor, so. Ooh, okay. Big grenade here. It's gonna hit like everybody. We can just end. It's it's definitely over. She TP'd. <laughs> so yeah, that was uh, the Heimerdinger game, a comeback. Team did very good at uh, keeping mental and stuff. My bot lane did great. Pretty strong top lane pick, and I will try to get another one because I like to have two games of it. So that was uh, what you can do versus melee picks. If you ever go uh, Heimerdinger top and they pick like I don't know. What would be a really annoying? Probably like Ryze or Cassio because they kind of outrange you and they have abilities that could be used from really far away. Or even stuff like Vayne Top, which uh, outranges your turrets with her auto attack. If they're short range, um, your turrets will still hit them. Urgot, for example, cannot outrange with his auto attack. It's too short range. Give it to Caitlyn. She popped off. I know so did... Uh... So did Alistar, but she did really good. So anyways, thanks for watching. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it, and I'll see you guys in the next commentary, uh, which will be soon. All right, see ya. Hey, everybody. Welcome to the next commentary. Today, why? Okay, welcome to the game two of me playing the Heimerdinger. Playing versus a Mordekaiser this time. Um, I'm sure that we will figure out a way to win this game. Heimerdinger has a sick-ass mustache. I have the best possible picture for somebody that has a good mustache, so luck is on our side this game. We can do it. I think... Okay, so Mordekaiser matchup, by the way, when he takes you to Brazil, your turrets aren't there, so unfortunately, uh, it's kind of like a soft counter pick. Is this guy AP? No, he's AD. Good. I probably shouldn't help this guy. I should have also probably popped a turret somewhere just to have it down. That was my mistake. Just put it in here. I just want to see if uh, Mordekaiser... Okay, he's here. Where he is. Try to see as well. I don't know if his Q outranges mine. Okay, nice. He's just sitting inside of the brush. Okay, so he one-shots it if he hits the uh, isolated one. Just doing a little bit of damage with my uh, E there. We see Kha'Zix spot side. Another big hit on this guy. Dang, he leveled up. How ridiculous is that? I actually had him. I purposely tanked because I knew that if I uh, landed everything, he's dead, but... Just auto-attacking, getting him low. Nice, Shaco gets a kill. Shove in the wave and then reset, I think. God, dude, I can't shove in this wave. <laughs> it's because the new minion wave arrived. I shouldn't have even tried to hit him with rockets there. I'm surprised he's not ghosting at me. I think he can attempt to kill me here. Maybe he just doesn't realize that. I am quite fast. Maybe maybe I'm wrong. Maybe he would just waste it and I just walk away. And that's why he didn't do it. Not bad, man. 
I mean, melee versus range during the early game, if I get to land my abilities on this guy, he's going to be in a world of hurt, right? So... Pretty good early game for us. And it's really good for Shaco. I really want my jungler to be popping off, obviously. Shaco is awesome when he gets fed. And he's not that awesome when he gets behind. He's already gotten two kills. That's sick. I've been spamming my turrets a lot, so I should probably uh, chill for a second. Because I want to have all three set up so I can start pressuring again. I can just create a slow push and then drop them later, I think. Dang it, that missed. And I didn't get the cannon. Oh my god, man. Just dropping down turret in front of his face because he's trying to kill it. Is he leaving? Where's he going? We have a Venn diagram going on. Until five minutes, I don't deal like any damage to uh, this, which is sad. gonna die here for sure. I was hoping he would kill Kha'Zix first <laughs> because Mordekaiser is not threatening so I was trying to bring it to him but he's 7-0 like we definitely set him up for success right so my wave is really bad. Dude he has 7 kills before first buy on Shaco like how incredible is that and that's all because of Mari. It's all because of Mario. Um, he might try to just all in me when he reaches six. So I need to have my three turrets down, but then also have more. So I'm going to put down one and I'm going to save the other ones. If he takes me to Brazil, I'll have to pop down all my turrets again. So that's my idea here. I'm just going to wait for him to take me, and then I pop them all. Like right here. I just drop them. And then I drop this one, and I just continue auto-attacking. I didn't drop my last one because when you get taken out, your turrets are still there. So I can't drop them all because otherwise then I'm really screwed because then I, I don't have any on the way out. But we had a plan in mind. We did it. We landed all of our abilities on him. One of the things that about Heimerdinger besides like him being a bully and stuff is that it's pretty easy to land your grenade versus melee range but hard against far away because it has travel time so it's almost... Uh, impossible to miss the center stun versus melee picks if i'm versus something re really far away it takes forever it takes a really long time for it to travel so another benefit of playing versus only melee picks with the donger So, he doesn't have his ultimate. I think I just dropped down all of my turrets here. Or two of them, actually. And then I'll have the other one a bit further up. This will just help clear this gigantic wave. Still trying to just save up my turrets again, so I'm just gonna like have the wave come back to me here so I can CS it. And then drop down one more. Start hitting the turret so we can uh just damage it a bunch. 
harass him a little bit. I'm just going to save all my turrets again. Just in case he takes me somewhere. I'll drop one more. I can only store up to three anyway, so there's no reason not to just drop it as soon as he's reached three. Put down a turret right here. This is one that will help me just have movement speed because it's right in a perfect spot. Stun the minions, W the minions, make it so I can push a little bit faster. We don't really have mana issues. This guy TPs. When he TPs back, he might immediately all in. It's possible. Okay, he doesn't. Just harassing. He misses his E. I go back to hitting the turret a little bit. And slowly, we will get this. A little bit of beam damage on him. Drop down one turret. He's gonna ulti me. Oh, I might die here, actually. I think this time I'm... Oh! The Shen? No, I'm still dead, though. You can't you can't save me here. Sorry, brother. There's no way. Uh, in the future, the thing that I'm gonna change is that... Wow. No wonder I didn't deal damage to that guy. He is literally building tank mord. Uh... But I should have seen that. If I press tab as soon as he TP's in and saw that, what I would have done is not use anything. And then when I come out of the Mordekaiser ult, I drop everything to kill Kha'Zix instead. So that could have been something that I changed just based off of seeing his item. And yeah, maybe it would have never worked and maybe I still would have died. But it would have definitely been a better attempt. Because there's no way that I can kill a Mordekaiser that uh, goes this type of build very quickly. It's going to take a long time. I'm sure in 1v1 I probably can win, but it's just going to take really long, so... Anyways, the plan is the same. It doesn't matter if I die, I'm still just going to do the same thing. I'll just try to clear the wave. He clears it super slow because he's... <laughs> he doesn't have any AP. So. No, my turret. It'd be really awesome to get first turret, or not first turret, but the whole entire turret on my own. Uh, before the 14 minutes. Oh, you hit me. Doesn't really matter, though. Okay. He wants to kill the turret really badly, so we'll take damage for it. The plan is the same. If I get ulti by Mord, I'm not gonna pop everything. I'm just gonna focus on... I think Kha'Zix jumped over that wall because he was, like, doing uh, the grubs, and I saw him jump, so I just threw out random rockets in hopes that it would just randomly hit him and kill him. Didn't really work out, though. Tries to hit me, doesn't work. Get taken away, put down one turret. Damn, dude. I was so close to doing a combo. My turret immediately died. What am I supposed to do about that? I guess maybe there's just no counterplay to the turret dying immediately. Because it felt like it didn't even auto-attack him. You can smite the turret. Maybe it just is too squishy. Yeah, the turret's like 900 HP and his smite is like 900. Did it just get one shot? <laughs> I think it's kind of dumb that you can smite it because, like, that's only a jungler benefit and no benefit to anybody else and doesn't make much sense to me. I'm 
I'm not gonna stop the barrage. I'm gonna continue going for this guy's, uh... The turret. Abyssal Mask first item Mordekaiser, and now he's building other tank stuff? Dude, this guy's not gonna be able to kill anybody. Why are you building that? There's no way this has good win rate. If it is, then I'm so shocked. But I, I don't believe it. There's no way that it's good. He doesn't even deal damage to my turrets. an old. Yeah, I just started running at him and fighting him because uh, he's wanting to fight me, so might as well just attempt fighting him back and see what happens, I guess. I kind of want to keep shoving. I know this is super ballsy and stuff, but the game's in such a good state that I think that it's okay to take heavy risks. Yeah, I'm definitely going to get ganked. I'm probably dead here. Ooh, never mind the Shen. I might have honestly been able to kill him on my own. <laughs> because he dashed straight into the stun. And when I stun him like that, uh, I can land my my W, all of the rockets, and it causes two beams. Your, your E is one beam, and your W, if you land every single rocket, is two. You need to land all of them, though. Can't miss a single one. Um, I think that I just build... A crit bloom. I probably need that. Oh, big fight going on. I have my, uh... That guy's gonna maybe ulti her, but if he does... He won't kill her, so there's no threat. Ooh, Ash Arrow. Senna's just dead. Okay. She flashed the rockets. I honestly don't even know if those would have landed, so... Ooh, nice sidestep on that. I can't, I can't get it over the wall, man. I did do a lot of damage to him, though. If I landed the rockets on Kate, I would have killed her. I'm kind of sad that I missed it. It was a pretty simple sidestep, too. Okay, cool. I got her little thing. I'll take it. Why not? I'll use it. There's no way that I would get a kill on somebody here, right? Yeah, I'm gonna get myself killed, I think. Oh, they're maybe gonna be able to take mid completely. Actually, they do it really slow, huh? Maybe I just TP behind them? This is a crazy flank play, no? I'm just going to continue running with my last one, because we can just land this, and then she's dead. Alright, the Mordekaiser definitely wants to ulti here. No, my turret! Give that back! Thank you? Oh, it's dead. Holy, guys. I have so many turrets down, though. I need help, guys.
Born kills everybody here, probably. He misses ult. Never mind. If he didn't miss his ultimate, everybody dies. And by everybody, I mean Syndra. <laughs> The thing is that even though we died, it's one bounty, and it wasn't the 1k, so as long as Shaco's always alive, it's always winnable. Wait, Shaco, you don't have ult? Dude, if he dies here, I mean, it's not that bad, because it's only a Senna. Alright, cool. Continue the barrage, guys. Just continue pressuring. Maybe I try rushing Baron too. I really want to see how fast Heimerdinger can do it alone. How fast can I just pop down all the turrets on Baron spawn and fight? Okay, I'm going to get his thingy. Kha'Zix is just as fed as I am. We do have Shen ultimate though, so. Hmm. Oh, I really want to set up the Baron, but I'm scared that if I walk in, I'm going to walk into Kha'Zix. Okay, we see Kha'Zix's top topside. His Edge of Night is back up. We have Shaco on the Prowl. And he's dead. Holy, that did a lot of damage. Okay, well, I'm going to go Gov again. Or rather, set up Baron. One, two, three, turret. Yeah, there's no way you would be able to solo this, right? Wait. He died? I mean, he didn't lose a bounty or anything. <laughs> I mean, I wasn't tanking for him, I guess, so... Maybe it was, it was my bad. I only have one turret. Okay, well, I'm gonna try to kill this guy, but it's gonna be challenging. Because the problem is that there's no way for me to stun him with the Edge of Night. He is just going top. Okay. Boarded. I need to loop around. Not me, man. Not like this. Got me, Kha'Zix. I had a feeling that I could die there, but I saw the low Senna, so I got baited. Because I wanted to see if I could kill her with the rockets. 21 kill Shaco, 1 kill per minute. 22 kill. So did he just kill everybody on the map? So he, he was farming, and by the time he came top, he already had... Actually, was top lane his first kill? I'm going to take responsibility for getting him fed with my uh, crazy kill on Mord. I want to go play PUBG. I think we can end. <laughs> yeah, I'm sorry our team is so slow at closing while being so fed. You're missing out on playing PUBG with your friends.
No, Ash is so dead. Man, the Edge of Knights are so annoying. One more drag until soul. Dang. I was really hoping that she would run towards the wall rather than the direction that she did go. Ooh, hit her with all the rockets. That was a cool combo. What he did is that he immediately flash R'd. So when somebody's getting ready to dodge Orn ultimate, you have like less time to react. No, my turret, she took it again. Crazy damage, though. Oh. Oh. Oh, Shaco, nice. Good kill. I live, just barely. All right, so hopefully you guys enjoyed both of the uh, Heimerdinger top teams. As you can see, pretty annoying pick that a lot of people don't like playing against. My team might have popped off hard, but we definitely, like, won our lane. Uh kind of solo to the point that he couldn't play the game at all. And then even when we get ganked, we can almost return kill uh, things, especially with Chen ult and stuff. So well played, Tommy Pencils. So thanks for watching, guys. Hopefully you enjoyed it. If you did, drop a like on the video, and I'll see you guys in the next commentary. Thank you, Mario, for helping me win these two games. I'll see you all next time.